All right, guys, welcome back to the Modern Artisan channel where we thrill the masses with our exploits, um, otherwise known as just my crappy job. But uh, we, we built some cool stuff. This week, we're building cabinets. Uh, so a couple weeks ago, we tried a new kind of cabinetry, this curve, uh, curve cabinetry with the uh, birch plywood exposed edges and the laminate and all the overlapping joints. Um, really simple, modern, really cool stuff. Uh, so we successfully got that one done. There's a video on that one. And now we're taking it to the next level. We are doing a uh, little kitchen with this stuff. So I'm gonna take you through how we designed it, how we built it. Uh, we're gonna install it at my niece's house. Uh, she's given us full creative license to uh, do this however we want. And uh, so we're gonna install it and then she'll actually see it. She doesn't even know what it's gonna look like. So uh, super exciting. So this will this will be a part one. We'll take you through about here, and then uh, and then there'll be a part two uh, where we kind of finish these off and uh, and then demo the existing kitchen, install the new kitchen. So it'll be a lot of fun. So here we go. Or is it that way? Oh, and don't forget to uh, nude and spay to your pets. No, don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe so you can catch uh, part two and other cool stuff that we do. All right, see you then. All right, here's my uh, cool little design of this kitchen in SketchUp, which I'm getting better at. I like SketchUp, it's a cool program. Uh, so yeah, this is the way it's gonna look. The colors are a little bit off, it's the best I can do, but everything exposed there is like a maple laminate and these edges are just represent the edge of that Baltic birch because the edges are exposed. And then inside there we have gray laminate, that's kind of our, uh, accent color is like a charcoal gray so uh, nothing too bright and crazy so I'll swing around here um, there's those are cutouts for handles there's no hardware and so we cut those out to <clears throat> oh let me pull myself up out of the floor here sorry he's pan back down here so yeah there you can see a little better so there's there's cutouts in that uh, the uh, the edges there, and then that's a fixed panel where the kitchen sink is. So this is it. We're gonna try and do something that looks at least as good as this. So here we go. All right, we're just getting started here. There's a lot of uh, laminated parts in here. In other words, that have that uh, Formica laminate, whatever you wanna call it. There's a lot of maple on the doors and drawers. There's the gray accents. So uh, we laminated some full sheets ahead of time so we could just cut those parts out of those full sheets. Although uh, individual parts that were only partially laminated have to be done later, you'll see. But if you wanna see more on this, we have other videos on this that cover that better. And, and then there's just a ton of cutting, cutting out parts. And I don't, I don't wanna show a lot of this preliminary work. Uh, it's not that interesting. Uh, but we use the track saw for almost all of it, like you can see there. So here I am just cutting curves with a table saw with the dado blades. So those the blades are stacked to give us the right thickness. Kerf is just a groove, so all that overlapping geometry of the cabinets can fit in the right places. And it's a pain because there's three different sizes that are a 30 second different depending on if they have laminate on one or both sides. All right, hey guys, uh, the shop is a mess again. And uh, you know what that means? We're actually doing something. Usually that's what that means. Uh, so I've got all these parts laid out. We've been cutting parts all freaking day. There's stacks of them everywhere. These parts are all uh, curved and I got to put laminate on them. I've got stacked, like this first pallet is um, pieces that are all cut and they're laminated with maple uh, laminate already because uh, they will, for the most part, be uh, door fronts, drawers, uh, or drawer fronts and doors, cabinet doors. Uh, and sometimes like an exposed cabinet side. Uh, and then a bunch of other parts. And so we are rocking and rolling. We've been cutting all day. So if you wonder uh, what it's like to uh, make these kind of cabinets, it's like tons of uh, math and drawings. But I did find, this is cool. So, oh, where are they? Okay, so my, uh, my so I have all these part lists here, um, I can't hold those up in a good way. I'm my own cameraman today, but, uh, so I, we got tons of parts, like, well, I was gonna say hundreds, maybe not hundreds, 
We have tens of parts, definitely over 100. But uh, I found this program online called the uh, Cut List Optimizer. And so I put all my cuts in and it's really cool. Like, um, and I put in like how big are my uh, stocks. So we're working with four by eight sheets. And then, uh, so it just lay, it lays it out. So like, it'll take like all these parts and lay it out for me um, because that's like a huge job to uh, do that and try and be efficient. So uh, that was a good find. Um, I think it was called Cut List Optimizer, something like that. So I should have looked for that a long time ago. Anyways, we're rocking and rolling. Um, we're gonna we're gonna hit some laminate here. Do all the partial laminate, full pieces, uh, pieces that were full. We laminated ahead of time. Uh, the ones that are partial, I didn't because when I cut that curve, it would chip that laminate. It doesn't doesn't do a great job with that. So kind of a pain in the butt. Any partially laminated sheets I have to do uh, afterwards here. But uh, otherwise, we get everything done. It's just assembling it. So uh, it's kind of cool. Excited excited to do this and actually get out to the house and do something. Okay, we got um, we got all of our laminate glued up here. Um, so what I like to just use a uh, a roller, unless it's something real small. But anything big enough for a roller, I use a roller. And I'll just get a foam uh, uh, foam skin with as thin a nap as possible, because um, it really doesn't take much glue at all. Um, and I'll go over it, you know. And you can press down if you want, but then I'll go over it real light just to pick up any excess. And I can tell even on some of this stuff, I got too much glue. So just enough to coat it. Otherwise you're waiting too long. So I'm waiting 15, 20 minutes on a lot of this uh, to where it, it looks like it just got dry, but it's still very tacky. Uh, and then and then we're gonna put this stuff together and do it. So yeah. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, so on the, the smaller pieces, I can just place those no problem. Anything bigger, um, this is more like a countertop or something. And so what I'll do is I'll put these wood dowels out here and I'll space them close enough that when I put the laminate on it, uh, it can't touch. And that way I can position the laminate and then pull out one stick at a time and stick it across. Cause if, if you know, with the contact cement, that's what it is, contact cement. So as soon as there's contact, it's over, it's, it's stuck. So uh, the, the dowels or something like these dowels gives you a chance to um, place the material. Without actually letting it touch. And then, so I'll get it, I'll position it and then I'll take out one at a time and we'll go from one side to the other so there's no bubbles. And uh, that's the best way to do that. Okay, hey guys, it's getting exciting here. We've got all these uh, parts. Um, this isn't all, this is just the parts that actually get laminate. But the, the parts that get the gray laminate, they are done and trimmed. And so, man, these are so cool. They're just, uh, 
that's just the cool thing about this curved cabinetry. It's like all the grooves and all the different um, colors or accents or however you do it. But uh, it's just, they're just different. It's cool. I like it. So, um, so we got these, we got stacks of stuff all organized and ready to go. I've got to do a few shelf pins. Um, oh, and I got to cut out uh, the cutouts where you um, reach in and open a drawer or open a cabinet. So we've got a few minor things to do. And then we're going on to assembly and that'll probably be the end of uh of part one and then we're going to dig into the kitchen uh on the install for the whole uh part two and so we'll get to see the whole thing come together it'll be awesome So this is our king, uh, kitchen sink cabinet. Uh, this one is uh, we're just going to have a, a, a fixed panel here because the sink is obviously there. Um, actually, I have this upside down. So it'll be a fixed panel like this. 
uh, with a couple of cabinet doors underneath it. And so there's your, your uh, cutouts for the handles. So uh, this is the only part of this project that I'm gonna put dominoes in. The rest of it is all kerf and glue and some finish nails. Uh, but we're gonna, I, got, I just got these laid out and I'm gonna put dominoes in it. And then as we assemble this, I'm gonna, we'll put this panel in place uh, with dominoes, it'll be fixed. We got them cut out. Uh, and we'll do the other side for the other part. And I've got this. Uh, so I've got this set to a pretty tight setting. So there's there's almost no play horizontally, which is what I want for this. Back system six, sticks itself down, but I just have to make sure it's to the edge when I want to tilt the piece down, which I'm going to do with this. Uh, thanks for watching another Modern Artisan video. Uh, the next part we will do doors, drawers, we'll spray finish, uh, we will demo the existing kitchen, install the new one, and we'll actually get to see finished uh, product and maybe my niece's reaction if it's good. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to it. We got a lot of work to do for part two. So thanks for watching and oh and we have, uh, man there's a lot of big stuff. We're doing this crazy uh, bathroom remodel. We're doing some sick stuff in there. It's gonna be so cool. We're installing a Tesla wall later this year. Uh, what else are we doing? Oh, we're doing a uh, crazy uh, football locker locker room at a college, and uh, just yeah, cool stuff coming up. So you definitely want to subscribe and see what's happening. All right, see you then.